So you wanna make this for your brand, but you just don't know where to start. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to start your clothing brand from scratch using today's sponsor, Kittle. We'll be going over logo design, placements, and also using the power of AI to bring your design together. Let's get straight into the project. POD preset is always 4,500 by 5,400. First thing we're gonna do is launch up Kittle AI, and then we're gonna type in pinup girl, cute smile, blonde hair. I wanna go for detailed drawing this time. Let's go ahead and generate that one. Lovely. We're gonna go ahead and turn that layer off. So if you go down here in the right corner, there's a little layer section of, and we can go ahead and turn off the illustration image. We're gonna go ahead and add some type. And in this type, we're gonna get our brand name. Now for this brand concept, it's gonna be Lone Star. And for the logo, I'm gonna go ahead and use different fonts to make a sort of, I guess, grunge effect. I think the technical term for this design style would be punk grunge. So I'm just going ahead and duplicating each letter and making a new one so we can make some custom logos in Kittle. For the first letter, we want something a bit blocky, a bit crazy. So I'm going for this one right here. For the O, let's go with something a bit more mute, but still has that sort of effect to it. Mm, nah, it's doing too much. I think I like this a lot better. For the N, let's go for a little script font of some sort. And for the E, let's go with something extravagant. I actually really like this one. Let's go ahead and play with the angle of each typography. Make sure everything's touching. Next, we need our letter mark for our logo or logo mark, sorry. So I'm gonna go ahead and head over to elements and search up star. Oh, this grunge star might come in handy later, but I'm not gonna use it now. And this one too might come in handy. Perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag these a bit down here. I'm gonna work on this logo first. I wanna create an offset to encompass the logo and make it look like one shape. This N is kind of giving me boring. We need one more. Broken wings? We could try broken wings. Mm, no. This E, let's try this E. Might work a bit better with the sort of effect that we're going with. Yes, I like this a bit more. Lovely. So let's go ahead and group that and let's start working on the bottom one. So the bottom one is going to be our offset. So we can go ahead and just add a bunch of weight to this and we can change the whole color to the any graphic into like black or something. And for the sake of this, I'm going to make this red. So later on, we can edit it down the line for the text. You will, you don't want to go ahead and add border weight. You want to go into the effects, click the third one and add outline weight because border weight for text goes inside for some reason. So the goal is to just make a bunch of weight onto the text to make it look a lot blockier than it is. Let's go ahead and group that. I'm gonna go ahead and send that to the back. Now working on the main type, we're gonna go ahead and make the color. We're gonna go ahead with a light pink cause that's the design style that everybody likes. I love the fact that you can just select the color documents without having to go in and find the color again within Kittle. And I might set this one to black or white. I think white looks way better. However, the goal when aligning is not to make it perfect. Since we're going for that punk grunge look, we wanna add a bit of character and detail. So messing up on parts deliberately gives the character to the design. So for the black this time, we're gonna set that to white and that's the document color underneath. And then we're gonna set this one to black. And we can change the group color for this into a lighter pink if we have to, just to get to that, you know, that classic IG brand look. Perfect. Now with these stars, I'm gonna go ahead and add them to the back to add some character to our outline because it's a bit boring at the moment. And let's go ahead and group that together. So now we've got our logo done, we can go ahead and turn that layer off and we can get rid of this star because we've already used it and turn this star off and bring back our beautiful subject. So if you go ahead and use the code Will with the link in the description, you'll get 50% off the monthly pro plan for Kittle to get you started in designing. And a lot of you guys have been asking, how do you do this? I'm gonna walk you guys through exactly how to do this. So what you have to do is make an account with Kittle. And once you've done that, head over into subscriptions. And then I want you to go ahead and set the bill to monthly. Go ahead and get pro plan and go ahead and add in code Will and it will take $7.50 off your $15 subscription. And with doing so, the pro plan includes 100 active projects. So now it's 10 gigabytes of upload space, all premium templates, and it gives you an extra 15% off Kittle's print products, like print on demand. I've made a video on that in the past, if you guys wanna go ahead and check that out. So let's get straight back into the video. It turns out the image we were using before didn't have enough shadows for me. 
I didn't like how the shadows were turning out. So I went ahead and generated a new image real quick. And I'm gonna go through the steps again. So I'm gonna use AI background remover. And then I'm gonna set the color to two. And I'm gonna vectorize the image. As you can see, this sh image has a bunch more shadows, especially with its dark hair. So yeah, this one works a lot better for what we're going for. Let's go ahead and set this to white. Perfect. And if we really wanted to, we could add a bit of a border to this design and set the color to pink, or we could set the color to like a black, just to add a bit of an offset to the design itself and give a bit more detail when it comes to the face shape. Next, we need some bitex to cover up this cut off limb here. And I'm gonna just go ahead and put smile, you're on the camera, cause it matches the aesthetic that she's looking at us. Like always, separate your text in case you wanna add different fonts to the image. For this one, we're going for a very heavy script font. I like this one. I'm gonna go ahead and change this S into a capital and this Y into a capital also. Now in the effects panel, let's go ahead and get the third one like always. And let's go ahead and keep the angle to a 135. And for the offset, let's go ahead and drop this down to a three. And the color of the offset and everything is like that. We're gonna change that to a black. And in the text settings, we're gonna change the text to a white. Lovely. Let's go ahead and add the you on camera part. Now in the elements panel, we're gonna go ahead and grab a sort of grunge element. Let's go ahead and go into abstract and stains and brushes is what we're looking for. Let's go ahead and grab this one right here. And let's hold shift, because if we hold shift, we can go ahead and edit the actual shape and set the color to black and bring this to front. Now this space is looking a bit empty. So I want to go ahead and add in like a ominous smiley face or creepy smiley face. We're going to go ahead and head over into elements. And then we're going to go ahead and go into illustrations from illustrations. We're going to go ahead and go into street stencils. Yeah, this is perfect. Let's go ahead and grab this one and we're going to go ahead and send that to the back. We're going to angle it a bit and hide the eye a bit. So it looks a bit more scary. Let's go ahead and set the color of the inside to a pink. Lovely, now our design is coming together. The last thing we have to do is add some more stars and stuff like that. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on that star we added in earlier. Actually, the more I use the star, the more I don't like it because it's too much character, you know? Illustrations, naive doodles. Mm, it might be in here. Yes, something like this. Something like this is perfect. Maybe set this to pink. So we're gonna add this around and then we're gonna drop one of them down. What if I set these all to black? Ooh, I like that. Now you see how this image is super clean on these edges right here? And eh, it's not it's it's not the right look we're going for. We need to add a bit more grunge to the image, add a bit more texture. So the way we do that is in the elements panel. If we go to abstract again and we go to stained sweeps and um, brushes. We can go ahead and add these different stains in, right? Set these to black and set them to the back. And once we've done that, we can go ahead and add some texture. Like the image is actually getting distorted itself, you know? There we go. For the back design, we're gonna go ahead and press new project. Same exact layout. This time, we're gonna go ahead and grab our smiley face that we used in the first design and also our typeface. And the last, we're gonna, last thing we're gonna grab is our smile you on camera. And I had seen this design that someone did on um, Kittle's, Kittle's homepage. And I really like the font that they use. So we're gonna go ahead and use that font for the smile you on camera back design. Get rid of that. And for this time, the effect, we're gonna go ahead and remove any offsets, but keep the outline width. The outline width is 36, so we're gonna go ahead and put that on the other design, 36. I'm playing with this weird arrangement of typefaces on this design because it's like moving around and I don't know where I really wanna place it. Oh yeah, that's fire. I really like this. I wanna grab the little stars that we have from the logo and we're gonna place them throughout the design, bring to front. The last thing we have to do is go ahead and add some textures to the design. So if we head down, down, so if we head down to textures, 
we can go ahead and scroll down to Alpha Mask, which is a new section that I've seen within Kittle. And yes, they finally did what I've been praying for. Add actual masks that give you a better look in terms of using the Alpha Mask because it actually cuts out the image. And if you turn down, turn off the background, you get this, which is absolutely sick. I think this one might be my favorite, honestly. And let's go ahead and do that with the front design. So once we've added our masks, let's go ahead and download our graphics. And I'm gonna download them as I'm gonna download them as PNGs so I can put them on the mock-up. Setting up a new artboard, go ahead and click the POD presets, but this time put it on landscape so you can fit two t-shirts on one page. Next, you want to grab a PNG or some sort of t-shirt and directly drag it into Kittle itself. So uploading it into Kittle. After that, we're going to go ahead and re-upload our images of our designs into Kittle again. The reason why we're doing this is so we get the blending options for the actual mock-up. Now within the blending options, I want you to set it to multiply and then I want you to set the opacity to 67 slash 70 so you can get the texture of the t-shirt and fade the colors to make it look a bit more realistic. Just repeat that to the back design and you have mockups complete. If you want to look more professional, set the background to black and now you have mockups ready to post up on your social media to launch pre-orders. Now, I am one of those people who is against pre-orders to a tad bit because of the caution of it going horribly wrong for a lot of people who don't do it correctly. So when you're doing pre-orders, I want you to grab a really good sample of your product. Once you have that nice sample, you can go ahead and show people that this item is actually real. But if you don't have the funds for that, you can still launch your brand with just photos of the product using mockups. And I have clients that do this and they ask me to do real life mockups and it works for their brand and their workflow because they can order the correct amount of units. But if you don't have a relationship with a manufacturer and you've never done samples before, I would highly suggest you get samples before you even start marketing. So you have both a real life product so you can actually show the production of it and you have a perfectly good flat that you can put up on um, a website or something like that. But yeah, essentially, those are the bare minimum steps. There's a lot more steps in understanding how to build a clothing brand, especially in 2024 with all the different ways of marketing. But if you want to get started and you just want to learn design, Kittle is an amazing platform.